What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to set up Istanbul JS for code coverage with jasmine.js using Node.js. I know I just said a lot of JS is right there, but hey, this is a lot of JavaScript. So I'm just going to show you how to set this up because it was actually confusing for me the first time I did it. So I would like there to be a tutorial out there. So here we go. I have my uh, Jasmine project. I already have it all set up. As you can see in my package JSON, I have uh, scripts and test Jasmine. So whenever I do NPM test, uh, it runs my Jasmine tests. And I want to use Istanbul JS to see the code coverage of my testing files. Um, but let me just finish running NPM test here because it's going to run Jasmine now. Okay. Boom, 27 specs, zero failures. So that's how you do it. That's how you run the Jasmine tests. The testing file is in my spec folder as Jasmine would want it. And here are my testing functions. So in order to get Istanbul to um, see the code coverage of your testing functions versus the above code here, uh, what you want to start off with is do npm install nyc-save-dev. NYC is the short form for Istanbul, I guess. I don't know, it's the same package, but yeah. So just do that really quick. I also have another tutorial of how to set up jasmine.js if you guys need that. So I will put the link to that video in the description because I thought like instead of starting over and setting up Jasmine again in this video, I already have another video for it. So just I'll link that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just gotta wait for this to finish installing. But yeah, here basically is a project I did for school and I wrote a bunch of test cases for it. And I'm just curious to see what or how much of this code is covered by the test cases I wrote. So that's what Istanbul does for you. Usually you use it with Mocha, but it actually does work if you use it properly with Jasmine. So now that I've installed that, um, I'm going to go into my package.json and under scripts here, as you can see, I have test Jasmine. I'm just gonna open this because I had this for my previous project and I need to see this. So I'm gonna change this test Jasmine to um, NYC dash dash reporter equals HTML Jasmine. So now um, it's also going to run Jasmine, but it's going to run Istanbul as well to show you the code coverage. So I'm just going to show you what happens after I do this. So now when I do, I did control S to save my package JSON, by the way, make sure you save these files before you run them. So I save this. And now I'm going to do npm test. And I will show you what happens. It should create another folder here with the code coverage results. This is just a test project that I have on my desktop, so nothing crazy. Okay, so. As you can see, here we go. We have add.nyc output and we have uh, coverage over here. I'm gonna open this in the file explorer. So now that I have these two new folders from Istanbul's output, I'm gonna go into coverage and I'm going to go into the folder that I just, the file that I just tested. So it's purchase order 2F20 spec.js. I'm gonna click this. It's gonna open it in Firefox, but basically here you go. This is the code coverage. So as you can see, 98% of my code is covered, 20 or 92% of branches, whatever. It's gonna give you a result based on how much of code you've covered. And yeah, that is how you get Istanbul JS to work with Jasmine. Haven't seen another tutorial out there for this. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.